Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of East Coast Bass Fishing. This evening, um, today's video is going to be about fishing murky or muddy water. So guys, before we get started, what I want to do is give a shout out to Patrick Mullins. Patrick Millhouse. I, I'm sorry, I pronounced it totally wrong. But anyway, the reason why I'm having this topic uh this video today is because he had a question for me on uh one of my videos and he said what would you recommend in murky, in murky water or can you do a video on murky water here in atlanta we have red clay and it keeps the water murky all year all right so i got a nice selection of lures here and we're going to go ahead and go over those starting from the bottom of the water column to kind of mellow and, and, and shallow. <clears throat> Starting at the bottom, we're gonna go with a football head style jig. And that's gonna be in, you know, that deeper, deeper type of water. Fishing a football head jig with a black craw. And it's the Undertaker Base craw. One of my choices that I feel like it's very good plastic and it really holds up pretty well. Football head jigs, and you wanna pretty much drag it across the bottom you know we hit some rocks kind of bump into it and maybe shake it a little bit we hit some wood same thing bumping into it shake it a little bit you're not really going to hop it a lot but you don't want to make it make the presence known you know it's there it's it's bumping against any cover that's down there first option for deep water so let's move up into shallow water we're going to skip the middle middle water column right now and go to shallow Muddy, muddy or murky water. We're gonna go with a brush jig. This is a PB and J Burks Base jig with a Undertaker Base Green Pumpkin Craw. And one of the reasons I choose this is because you're gonna be fishing shallower. That two, three, four, five, six, maybe uh, water column, water level. <clears throat> you're gonna be fishing this up in wood, you know. Throwing up in shallow wood, anywhere it's got some tight cover, because a lot of these bass are not going to just sit down in the deepest parts of the lake or the reservoirs or the pond. They're going to move up shallow. A lot of big fish don't go too far away from those shallow spots. They're going to sit there, and anything that's going to be really easy, really easy meal that you can hit them right in the top of the head with, a brush jig is, is probably going to be a good choice. All right, so we got the football head jig, brush jig, and shallow water. A weightless worm, weightless Senko, weightless stick bait, green pumpkin, or you can use black. Um, weightless or wacky rig, weightless around uh, structure, around grass lines, around wood, rocks. Weightless Senko, big choice. 10 inch worm. 10 inch black worm or any dark color just happen to have a black one and this has a curly tail on it that's going to displace a good amount of water fishing at texas rig uh you can fish it any water any water level you know shallow to mid to deep deep water texas rig it and i would personally i put a peg on it and just hop it or you can not peg it that way you can kind of have a little little free weight a little a little bit of Distance between the the bullet weight and the actual worm itself. Three options for shallow water or bottom baits. And this also can be a bottom bait. Fish the Texas rig as well with the bullet weight. All right, let's go ahead and move into the uh, middle to to the, to the top of the surface, middle water column. Let's go with a chatterbait. This is going to be a Z-Man's. This is the original Z-Man's chatterbait. I believe uh, the say original and actually yes it says original shadow bait and this is a black and blue I got a little skinny dipper on the black on the back of it and it's more of a almost a June bug color but it, it pretty much matches up with this pretty well black and blue and the reason why I choose a shadow bait this is gonna really stand out in that murky water it's already a dark blue as it is and they're gonna feel their vibration with their blade with their lateral lines so I'm gonna hone in on that whether it's shallow or whether it's deep. In deep water, you can move it just slow enough that that blade is still moving. 
crawling across the bottom. All right, another choice. I still know the Z-Man's Chatterbait. This is a bluegill pattern, a little skinny dipper, and I'm not sure of the color, but it's like a natural color, almost a bluegill or bram color. Same tactic, shallow, uh, nice and easy. Get that blade moving right up against the bank. Sometimes it'll be sitting there right around cover, but not right in it because there's no weed guard. This is gonna get hung up nine out of ten times as well. Or in deeper water, crawling across the bottom. Or just go past some structure or anything. <clears throat> All right, another option. When you got wind blown banks, these are two good options for shallow water. Excuse me. And the third option is for moving bait a War Eagle spinner bait. Nice Colorado blaze there. Well, willow leaf, I'm sorry. And you're gonna be using the green and chartreuse and white blade, right, white skirt. I apologize. <clears throat> it's gonna give off a lot of vibration with those blades, and then on those bright and sunny days, the water is gonna give a little leeway. It's gonna a little bit of sun is gonna come through just a little bit. And when they see these blades up shallow, they're gonna eat it. A lot of bait fish around that side, so that's a good choice. Or you can crawl across the bottom. But I probably would prefer using a, a darker colored skirt if you're going to go in the bottom of the water column. All right, got two baits left, guys. You got the Bill Lewis Rattle Trap. This is a gizzard shad color. This is going to work pretty well in that murky water. Believe it or not, even though it's not a dark bait or a light bait, so to speak. That white on the side there, when it gives that that wobble, that tight wiggle that they like in this winter time fishing right now, they're gonna they're gonna see it and they're gonna feel it with that vibration and those rattles. You want to give off as much noise as possible when you have a uh, water that's really dirty or murky or muddy. And if you checked out my last video, guys, this was pretty key and this was actually yesterday for me. The red KVD Strike King Red Eye Shad crawl pattern. Why the crawl pattern? Because right now these bass are really feeding on crawls right now. A lot of guys and a lot of people around here are really catching them on that red pattern. And why I say that? Because if you look at the bass's mouth, that red lip, they're, they're munching, they're eating on the bottom. Feeding on anything that's red as far as crayfish. Crayfish are primarily red. Sometimes they live, they, they're going to lose their color they're actually going to end up looking dark like this sometimes. Some of them even darker, black. But right now, that red KVD, uh, red eye shad, is working. You got rattle traps. You got lipless cranks. You have these chatter baits, a lot of vibration. You got the skirts, spinner baits, big football head jigs brush jigs, big worms, and finesse worm, Senkos, up shallow. So guys, that's, these are the options, these are the lures that I would use for, whether it's summer, spring, winter, or fall. All these baits are gonna work. It's just at the right time, the right place, you just have to pinpoint it. Hit them right on the head sometimes. If you check out my last video, when I cast the last fish I caught on that red KVD Strike King red eye shot, I pretty much hit him right in the head. Only turned my handle maybe two times, cranking it back, boom, he was there. So, and it was like two feet of water. So, it just goes to show these bass are not gonna always be in that deep water. They gotta eat sometimes. So, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Just a little tip. Patrick Milhouse, I hope you got some knowledge from this. I hope this helps you out. I hope you can catch some fish down in, in Atlanta, Georgia. And guys, this is gonna be it. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.